in a week or so i'll be off on a one in a lifetime trip to antarctica unless i'm lucky to be invited again and as I'm packing, I thought I would share a few things that I'm taking with me, with you, as I'm super excited to share this trick with you. Right, well, I, uh, I guess we should start with the camera gear. We are taking the Vanguard bag. Um, I recently did a video, a walk through this bag. It's great, it's the perfect size for a carry-on and all of my gear fits in here very, very nicely. I am going on this trip to work alongside other photographers and advise where necessary, but I am also there to do my own photography, obviously, and create video content. So before anybody tells me I'm overdoing it on the gear, everything in here is going to be used. As far as I'm aware, I have never done this trip before, so really I'm just guessing. <laughs> Camera bodies, we are obviously taking the Nikon D750 and we have a Nikon 850. This is a new addition to the camera bag for anybody that hasn't seen my last video. I bought this a few weeks ago as I figured that a second body would be useful um, in general, but especially for big trips like this, in case something goes wrong with one camera, you have a second one to fall back on. Now lenses, yes, you guessed it. The 100 to 400 will be going for all of those wildlife shots. And actually when I researched lenses to take to Antarctica, they don't really recommend anything over 400 millimeter. And they do suggest that you take some wide angle lenses as well for all of those stunning landscape shots. So the 16 to 35 and the 24 to 120 millimeter lenses will also be joining the party. So I did have to reconfigure my camera bag, the inside of my bag, um, to fit all of this in because obviously I don't usually have two camera bodies and three lenses with me at the same time. But we still do have room for other bits and bobs as well. The Sony ZV-1, which is uh, what you are on right now, will be popped in here for filming. We have a GoPro and various mounts with it as well. And this is my favorite mount. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but basically these legs will just twist around anything and everything that you can get it on, which I think is really, really fun. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to um, seeing where on the boat I can attach my GoPro. <laughs> I'll have a few cases in here as well with SD cards and batteries. Obviously I've got a few cameras with me, so I'm just gonna have batteries absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Obviously this bag is not going to be checked in when I'm traveling, it is going to be my carry-on and so anything that has batteries in needs to go into here. So I also have room for rechargeable hand warmers, gimbal for the Sony for super smooth b-roll as I imagine I'll be doing more handheld filming than using a tripod. Rugged hard drives to back everything up, so I'll be taking my laptop as well to do that. I do have a system of SD cards um, that are spread across all the cameras with a few spare as well, but I will definitely accumulate a huge amount of video footage that takes up so much room. So four terabyte high, four terabyte, four terabyte hard drive for the video footage and two terabytes for photographs. Anything else going into here when I'm traveling will go in the day pack. And this is just preparation in case my luggage gets lost along the way. So change of clothes, Kindle for entertainment, chargers, nausea tablets. And uh, speaking of clothes, for Antarctica, you want to layer up. So layer one are thermals, and apparently someone wore this top for six months straight and didn't smell. Layer two, hiking trousers and a t-shirt. Layer three, jackets, jumpers, fleeces and wool socks. Basically that extra layer of warmth. Layers beyond this depends on how cold it is or the activity that you are doing. So waterproofs for wet conditions and zodiac outings. I have hat options and a few pairs of gloves to keep my hands nice and warm. Right, we're getting there. So I will be popping a 
Vanguard carbon fibre tripod into my suitcase. This is a travel tripod so it will fold up even smaller. In all honesty, I'm probably not going to do a lot of tripod photography um, for obvious reasons of being uh, we're on a boat. <laughs> so I think this is probably going to be used for filming. I will be taking some filters with me. A circular polarizing filter is going to be really, really useful. I have a soft silver and a soft gold filter as well, which will be really, really fun to use for filming. This is a new setup. This was provided by Format High Tech as I am partnering with them from now on. So you'll see their um, setup and filters in my videos in the future. And if you're ever interested in an in-depth look into their products, then um, that's something that I can do. <laughs> Travel adapters, as I'll be charging a million one things probably every single day. And the plug on the boat from what I have researched will be the American two pin, which is I think type C. And then I've got one for Argentina for any hotels that I'm staying in there. And I think that's type I or L, I, I don't know. I will also be taking disposable warmers for my hands and feet as I have very, very poor circulation and I'm prone to losing the feeling in my fingers and getting chill blains on my toes. So I know it is technically summer in Antarctica, so it's not as cold as it could be, but I lose circulation in British spring. So <laughs> that's how poor my circulation can be. As this video goes up, I think I'll be somewhere in the South Shetland Islands and we will have gone through the Drake Passage and already experienced what they either call the Drake Shake or the Drake Lake. <laughs> so hopefully we're all feeling well and um, we're not too seasick, but just in case, I am prepared with some rather disgusting tasting um, ginger candy that um, apparently helps settle your stomach, but hopefully I don't have to use this <laughs> because it really doesn't taste great. Uh, but otherwise I'll see you on the other side. So thank you so much for watching and um, See you soon. Can you film it? <laughs> and then you go. E T phone home. <laughs>